Hey, good evening, Bud Haggerty here on I Can Fix That. Today's episode or little video we're gonna make is a little bit different. It's not about something you can fix. It's about how to mount a flat screen TV on the wall. Of course, you've probably seen tons of videos about this or you don't even need one actually. Uh, they're real easy to do, but the reason I'm uh, making a video about it, I'm gonna I want enlighten you on something you may not know. How cheap vi uh, televisions are and how light they've become. This guy's a 43 uh, inch Vizio V-series. Um, Built-in Wi-Fi as far as connecting to your house. You don't need a plug, you don't need anything except to plug it in. You can connect your home Wi-Fi. What that means is it makes it unbelievably cool what you can do with these things. I'm putting this television here in the garage behind me. Um, it's basically one night at a hotel. Hotels are so expensive now, I just went down to the beach. We're well, not even at the beach. It was pro It's a little bit inland from the beach. 250 a night. So. This television with this mount was one night at a hotel and I'll use this thing for years here in my garage. But I bought two of these mounts and this mount was only 20 bucks. And why did I buy two? Because it's uh, from 19 inch to 50 inch television that supports 43 inch right in the wheelhouse. But here's the beautiful thing about the, buying the same exact mount. I got one here, which I'll show you how to mount on the wall here. But I also put one on my back patio and uh, I'm kind of doing a Margaritaville thing back there, but on the back patio, all I have to do is plop it in and click. I'll show you in a little bit, but watch TV out there at night, World Series, got Monday night football games, all sorts of cool things. This is a great time of weather around here. And when I'm done with it, I pull the two release springs, take it out, put it back in the garage. So it's unbelievable. You could never do that. You'd have to have cable hookups before, and it was a pain in the but, but anyways, this is something so cool and so cheap. You might be uh, interested or consider doing it. So let's get let's get on with it. Let me show you how to mount this guy first, and then we'll uh, pop out the TV and go around back. Okay, I double checked it. This mount again, it was 20 bucks with tax. It holds up to 50 pounds. 50 pounds. The TV, it's 15.8. I'm rounding it up to 16 pounds. This thing laughs at 16 pounds. <laughs> so that's how light these TVs have become. So mounting this thing is going to be a piece of cake. You don't have to worry about having heavy duty bolts in the wall because it's extremely light. So uh, let me open this box up and get busy. Okay, I got it out of the box. There's basically three pieces. This is the this is the main piece. This is the piece that goes on the wall. And what's really cool about it is they put a little level in there. You don't have to break out your own level, so you can mount it on the wall, get it right level, and put the bolts in right there into hopefully uh, some studs. The other two pieces are this. Real simple, and this is the part I'm talking about. The Dan Marino quick release. Um, if you're a football guy, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Pull this down, and you could pull this and take this TV off this. Let me show you, see if I can show you. Here's it, let's say this is on the wall. This goes on there, and this clicks underneath it. It's clicked on there, the TV can't go anywhere. Pull that down, and boom, quick release. That's it, for 20 bucks, unbelievable. So what I'm gonna do is, since I got two of them, I only need one set. I'll put these guys on the television and show you what that looks like, and then we'll move on. Okay, the, the kit comes with a bunch of TV mounting hardware. Um, see these? I didn't need them, but you, you might need them, depending on your TV. There's different size brackets, um, and these washers are thick or thin. It's only for one reason, to make sure this, I'll focus in on it, this right here is mounted properly on here. These two brackets that we talked about with the quick release, those are the ones that we have to worry about. All this hardware, these bolts here, I mean, these right here, all these different size, it depends on the television set. They're giving you all universal different mounting. For me, it worked out that the actual, let me show, let me focus in on this. The actual hardware that came with my television set, these guys right here were perfectly fine. I did use the washers, but these guys screwed in perfect. So I didn't have to use any other hardware whatsoever. So all I did was put a washer, 
back on and tighten them. They are both flush exactly like I need. They're on there tight. And if there's a total of four. One, two, three, four. Once you got those on, you're pretty much done with the uh, mounting process on the back of the also, TV. So those spacers might be required to get you more distance if you're using anything there. I'm going to go with HDMI if I do, which are on the side. They won't interfere, but if you're coming out the back against a wall, you know, you might need those spacers that they give you. See? Because that's actually coming out the back part. Again, nothing that I need and you if you just uh, using the Wi-Fi. So, anyway. Okay, I'm going to mount the TV over there in the corner in my garage. Um, and it's going to be hopefully into studs, but again, they give you, let me zoom in on this. This is pretty funny. They give you this package here. Look at the size of these lag bolts. These are monsters, but they're going into the sheetrock. Um, that's why these things are so big. I'm going to go into the studs, so I got to find studs. I'd rather put smaller screws in the studs than, than put giant holes in my sheetrock, but uh, if I have to, I will use this, but I'm going to try to avoid it because we're talking about a television that weighs 16 pounds. Okay, here's my mounting bracket with the beautiful level on it. Um, I got a tape measure here, and if I tape across it, as you can see, it's 17 inches. 17 inches. Um, studs are generally 16 on center, which means every 16 inches, once I find the center of one stud, there should be another one. For me, I want to hit a stud between this bracket. I don't care so much where it's on my wall, so to speak. I got a little bit of flexibility, so I'm going to find the perfect spot to nail this thing between two studs and put some beautiful wood screws in it. And this thing will hold way more than 16 pounds. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'll, I'll, I'll find them on the wall right now. Okay, I'm up on the wall. I got a stud finder here. And uh, without me, I know there's a stud right here because I had something already in there, I, right here. So I'm just gonna double check that. That's off. See right there. So I'm gonna stick my little screwdriver mark right there. That's ballpark it. And I gotta go from here, hopefully 16 on center. Let me move over a little bit. And we'll slide over somewhere around there. There it is, boom. So there, I made two marks, one there, one there. That's just a ballpark to find out. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of fine tuning to make sure I'm in the center of those studs, but that, that'll fine tune it. And again, I really don't care. It didn't have to be perfect on my wall. If it did have to be perfect on your wall, you might have to use this, the hardware they gave you, so. Okay, so I got two marks on the wall. I don't know exactly where they're at, so to get a, more, a better reference, I'm taking my lovely tape measure here, going all the way down to the ground. It doesn't matter which side I start with. This guy here is, let's say, 66 inches. So this guy's 66 inches right there. That's my mark. I'll come over to here and I'll make sure this guy's 66 inches. If it isn't, um, I can move it up or down because I see my marks originally there. I'm moving it down a quarter, quarter of an inch. So there, that's my spot and that's my spot. They're both 66 inches. Um, from there, I'm going to take this same tool that I have. Let me come over here and show you what this thing is. Zoom in on it. It's pretty much like a sharp spear of a tool. I would not want to get stabbed with it, but, uh, anyways, here's what this thing, uh, it's kind of like a nail, real sharp nail, but I'm going to tap it in the wall on both sides and try to find the center of the stud because I want to be exact. Since I am not using uh, their method, when I put these two wood screws in there, I want to make sure they are hard right where I need them, right in the center. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to use Mr. Hammer as my friend. So we think this is, should be on the stud. And it isn't. 
That's not even on the stud. So I thought I was on the stud there, I'm not. Let's go right here. That's not on the stud either. That's not on the stud, that's not on the stud. And my, my stud finder told me it was right around here. Let's go over here. Let's try one here. That's it. That's on the stud, I can feel it hit. So that's on the stud. That isn't on the stud. Let me go right here. So there's the stud. That is the one side of the stud. Now an inch and a half, because the stud is an inch and a half wide, I get to go all the way to about here. I should. I'm still hitting the stud, but right here I should miss it. And I do. So this right here, that's dead ball center on my stud. That's how you make sure you're gonna hit some solid wood when you mount this bracket. Way better than going in the sheetrock. Okay, I'm taking my tape measure, 16 inches from here, right on over. You can't see it, but it's right over here. Let me get that hump right there, 16. 16 inches on center, let me see. Right there, 16 inches on center is right here. That's 16 inches on center from the other mark. 66 inches um, up. So let me, let me put that in there. That's supposed to be 16 on center. 66 inches from the ground. Ball parking it, that's 66. And double checking over there just to make sure that was 66. Okay, that should be it. That should be the center of that stud. But again, I'm gonna verify it. I'm definitely hitting the stud there, which is good. Now I gotta find out where I don't hit it. Let me see if I get out of the way of the camera. I'm hitting the stud there. What about this guy? I gotta be away from it from there. I'm hitting the stud there. Wow. Okay, I miss it there. And I should see if I miss it over here. I miss it over there too. So this isn't really, if there's not 16 on center, it's a little less. So I want to cheat a little bit and bring this thing in, which is nice. I'm going to be able to put my bracket right here, right about two in from there, which will definitely be into the wood. I'll be very happy with an anchor okay, there. What you're looking at is my mounting bracket and uh, my mounting bracket here with the little level on it. Here's the hardware that came with it and there's... I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. See all these holes? Those are the holes that you can mount this to your wall with. I'm going with a wood screw. That's two and a half inches long. Let me make sure that's two and a half. I guess it is, it looks like it is. Yep, two and a half inches. Um, two and a half inches long. But look, if I put it through there, it's kinda, bare. well, it actually goes through. No good. So I've decided to take not the little guy, because the little guy kind of catches it. I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna put one of these, one of these little guys on, and then I'm gonna put the big guy on. That is how I'm gonna secure it through there. I'm gonna do that on all four of these and screw these into the wall, and I'll show you what we got. Okay, there is my dead center that we know about right there. That's my dead center. Let me get that. Okay, just get it started a little bit. It'll be right about there. That's amazing. That bubble is right where I want it. Right in the center. Just double check it. Yeah, we are looking. That is perfect. Right there. I haven't screwed them in yet because I'll put the other ones in place and then we'll clamp them all down. Okay, we're all level. Put this guy on here and uh, let that make Peter do his job. Wow. I'll do this guy next. I'm not trying to stay out of the way of the camera. I gotta put... You should... 
you wouldn't believe the way that pulled that thing in so tight. This guy right here. You hear that motor bogged down? That is biting such into that two by four. There it is. That's all four in. Now, this is a 16 pound television. I could literally hang off this thing. Literally hang off, there's no doubt about it. Because we're talking about shear weight. I'm not an engineer, but to shear this off, the amount of force would be astronomical. There is no way this is coming out of the wall. And it's mounted in the studs, which um, I would much rather have it than a big lag bolt hanging in the sheetrock. The last thing I want to show you before I put this on the wall is um, it's mounted down here. I'm, I'm going to pick up the television in a second, but first I'm going to pick this up. This is a 15-pound workout dumbbell right here. And this is eight now. <laughs> anyway, 15 pounds. There's my whole television set mounted. 16 pounds. So they're both pretty much the same weight. Um, if you're gonna work out, I advise you to use either one of these, but you could, you could do curls with your TV set if you'd like, but I'm gonna throw this on the wall now. I'm telling you, it, it's super, super light. And uh, let me see if I can get this around the proper way. And you should hear it click. Did you hear it click? There it is, that's mounted. I knew from the spot that I put it in, it's another uh, 10, 11 inches, which again, I, I'm just ballparking, but let's take a, back, take a look back and see what we got. That's gonna be really, really good for me in the garage. That's it, so now I got the TV in the garage and here's the bonus what I wanted to tell you about. This is where this TV will be in most of the time with the weather overnight, all those things but uh, since it's there and I bought the other mount I, I'll show you where I put the other mount in my backyard here's my backyard so far I'm trying to make it a little bit more uh, conducive to hanging out here it's a work in progress but I do have some nice lights up there and uh, I just put that privacy fence up if you want to watch that video it's out there but right here when you sit down right here where Nicholas is at. Nick, what are you doing? Watching a game? Yeah. Okay, on, on a, what are you watching that? On your phone? <laughs> it won't be long till we'll be watching it right there. I put a mount right here. You see this? That's the mount and it's got it leveled on there. All I did was tie wrap that guy there because I want to be able to pop it in and out. But if that's where it's at, all I gotta do is go get my television, clamp it down there, plug it in, and we got outdoor TV. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this TV from here out the back. There's two little rip cords here. I'm gonna pull those down. That's the release factor. And lift this up. And here it is. That's the whole thing. It's in my hand. I got it like a surfboard. Come on, Nick, we're taking it out back. With one hand, because it's only, again, 16 pounds, and put it right back over here. That's it. That's it. It's done. Okay, it's Sunday night in America. It's October 1st. We're out in the backyard. The TV is mounted as you can see. I am going to be enjoying my life submarine sandwich that we got right there on the patio. The temperature out here is about 72, maybe 70 degrees. No humidity. Great time of year to be outside. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, maybe leave a comment or a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. That and uh, Till next time, Arrivederci.